Welcome to another episode of Headbangers Kitchen Uncooked and I'm here with the legend himself Alexi Lahio from Children of Boredom. Hey Alexi, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. It's good to be here. How does it feel to be in India finally? Yeah. Well, it's definitely good to be in India. Like I was saying earlier, it's just, you know, we were trying to come here so many times but it never happened. So, yeah, finally we did. Awesome. And you've kind of been here for a, a day I think now. Have you gone out and experienced any of the culture and the country? Uh, not not really so far, you know, we just we got here like at 3 a.m. Uh, the night before last time and I'm just like, I went straight to sleep and I slept for 12 hours and, you know, basically I've, I've seen the airport and the hotel but we have a day off tomorrow so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just try to go, go out and like check out the city and stuff. Awesome, and uh, what are you expecting from the show tonight? Well, a lot of craziness and just awesome India metal fans, you know, and uh, I mean, I've heard that it's really good, like the metal scene here is really good, so yeah. I'm, I'm definitely psyched about it and I'm like really excited to see how it's like. Alright, uh, so since we're on a show about food, uh, let's talk a little bit about food. What do you like to eat? Uh, well, I like so many different things, you know, I like, well, <laughs> Uh, well, what's your favorite sim food? Simple shit, you know, I like sandwiches and like, uh, I like pizza and stuff like that, you know. Sandwiches but, and pizza. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite pizza? Uh, I don't know, pepperoni maybe. Pepperoni. Do you do any cooking of your own? Not really, I mean, I, I do sometimes, but I kind of suck at it, so I, <laughs> you know, I, I should learn. Well, you shred well on the guitar, I think that one skill is more than enough to have. Yeah, well. So, uh, I gotta ask, you know, a lot of people have it and, uh, a perception of rock and roll and metal that it's all sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Do you guys get any groupies? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that, 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 that's all in the past. I have to say that because, you know, people have girlfriends and wives and stuff. <laughs> so it's toned down now, but it exists. Well, that's what I've heard, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about it. Awesome. And uh, any advice for young budding guitar players who look up to you? Because our country is filled with guys who you know, want to play like you and sound like you? Well, it's all about practicing and just like devotion to, uh, to the instrument. You got to love it and, and uh, you, yeah, you got to like devote your, your whole life to it. And that's what I did. So that's, that's all I can say. Awesome. And any new music that you're listening to? What do you listen to on a daily basis, if you do at all? Well, just anything from Poison to Dark Throne, you know, so it changes a lot. Any current uh, favorite bands? I'm sure there are, but that's just the kind of question that I, you know, my head's just, I'm drawing blank, blank here, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And what's life on the road like, you know, because uh, for bands here at least, uh, playing a show is a weekend kind of thing, but you guys live the life. You play, I think, every day for like three, four months at a stretch. What's that like, you know? Well, it's, it's just something that we're really used to since, you know, we've been doing that since the first album came out, you know, which is like 15 years now. So it's, it's just a lifestyle that we're used to since we were teenagers and you know you don't really think about it uh, to me like being home and not moving like moving around all the time that's kind of weird you know like just being still you know that 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 kind of gets me jittery every once in a while you know so i need to i like moving around i like waking up in a new city every every day you know so but i love it you know i still do some people can't really handle it but i mean i've seen that happen but to me that's that's the way I want to live, for sure. Awesome. And uh, your music is, I would say it was revolutionary at the time and it still is uh, inspiring so many bands today. Uh, how do you guys go about writing those tunes? It just, uh, I don't know, I mean there's no, there's no like uh, one method to go about it, you know, basically you just have to grab a guitar and see what happens. Sometimes you can get a thing in your head out of the blue, you know, like a riff or a melody or something or Sometimes you just gotta sit, you know, sit down with the guitar and noodle around for hours before you get anything happening. So it differs a lot. Awesome. And uh, I just one more question I gotta ask you before we wrap this up. Uh, why do you play ESP guitars? Gosh, they're the best. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> no, they hooked me up in like almost ten years ago. And honestly speaking, though, I mean, they're such awesome guitars that you know I would I wouldn't want to play with anything else. That's the truth. Awesome. So you heard it from the man himself. Well, Alexi, thank you for being on the show. It was great having you. Well, thanks for having me. Do you have any message for your fans in India who didn't get to watch you live or who will be watching this video? Well, hopefully we'll get to see us next time and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be here next time too. So, till then. Cheers. And we'll see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen Uncooked.